Hey teachers, Tarun Stevenson here for Karma Classroom and in this episode we're going to talk about how you can help students manage their anxiety and stress around assessment time. Why don't we get into it? Here we go, we're going to look at four tips on how you can help students to manage their anxiety or stress around assessment time and what you can do as a teacher to make sure that you are not contributing to the problem. Uh, before we get into it, make sure that you subscribe or follow on whatever channel you're watching or listening to us on because we produce content every week and we don't want you to miss anything. And make sure you give us a like and a share if you know other people that would benefit from this content. All right, now four tips on how you can help students during assessment time to manage their stress and anxiety and also make sure that you're not contributing to their anxiety as part of the problem. As if you're a teacher of older children especially, and this is probably particularly helpful for teachers of high school students, but it does apply to primary school uh, to perhaps a lesser degree. Uh, assessment time can be very, very stressful for students and teachers. Uh, it's usually stressful for teachers because that's the time where you experience an increase in um, disruptive behavior, you can have an increase in obnoxious or difficult behavior in your classroom. And if you take any time to investigate this, you will find that very often that behavior is driven by a stress or an anxiety related to the assessment period. Uh, when I was a behavior teacher, uh, I could almost predict to the day that in week seven, I would start seeing more and more students being sent to my office for misbehavior because week seven was assessment week. And that's when the exams were coming, that's when the assignments were due, and that's when students started to stress out and started to act out in class. And unfortunately, if you're a teacher that doesn't understand this, sometimes you can exacerbate or contribute to this problem in a greater way. So what I'm gonna look at is this, how you can actually, as a teacher, set assignments and support your students for exams and assignments in a way that minimizes their stress. The first thing is this, give them plenty of warning. It's really important that we give students time to process the idea that an assessment is coming. Okay, in two weeks we're going to have an assessment. I'm going to spend the next two weeks talking to you about it, giving you time to ask questions about it so that, you know, it doesn't come as a surprise, but I want you to be aware of it. And so start the conversation early, even if you can start at the beginning of the term and say, hey, this is the assessment that's going to be due. It's not due till week seven, but I want you to start thinking about it. Give them time to actually start processing it and um, preparing for it mentally. So forewarn, whether it's an exam or assignment, give them lots of forewarning and that will minimize last minute stress. The second thing is you need to help them plan. Very often students, especially boys, find it very difficult to plan deadlines. And uh, there's an old law called uh, Parkinson's Law which says that work expands or contracts to the deadlines that, it's pl that are placed on it. And so if you say to a student, hey, we've got an assessment in week seven, very often what they'll say is, okay, I don't need to give it any attention until week seven. That's just the way our brains work. And so if you want them to start working earlier, you need to help them plan out a schedule that is going to help them complete the task leading up to the assessment or leading up to the exam that will have them working the whole time rather than just at the last minute. So you might just help them plan out increments. Okay, for the, you know, in week six, I want you to, uh, start looking at these books and collecting research information in week um, sorry maybe we start earlier week five okay and week six then you might start to write down a draft and I want the introduction and I want the first uh, paragraph written by the end of week six and and so you just help them to step it out uh, so that they don't wait till the last minute and try and cram for it and then find themselves stressed and overwhelmed as a result the third thing is this do regular check-ins. So as you help them plan, also give them uh, regular incremental step times when they can come back to you and say, hey, I've done this, miss. Can you check it for me? Am I on the right path? Or you can check in with them. How are you going with our plan? Have you done the first step of the plan? And so regular check-ins will help to keep them on track. If they're staying on track, it will minimize their stress. And you can just, you will know the students that need the extra support or the extra help ahead of time rather than waiting till the last minute. And the fourth thing that you need to do is help them to balance their workload. Very often what will happen with assessment time is every teacher will set an assessment at the same time. 
And so they don't just have your assessment, they have everybody else's assessments, they have exams to do, and that can be really, really overwhelming, especially for a child who doesn't know how to map out their preparation. Uh, they will just look at that and throw their hands up and say, I can't do it, it's too much. And so you need to help them balance their workload and help them to think through their week in a way that, okay, on Monday, you know, work on your maths, on Tuesday, work on your English, on Wednesday, work on your science, on Thursday, you know, and help them to balance their workload so that they're not leaving things to the last minute, they're not just giving up because they feel overwhelmed, and then they can actually go through the process systematically, and you can support them through that process, and they will feel less stressed. I'm telling you this because assignments and assessments will, mat a stress will manifest itself as poor behavior. And yes, Karma Classrooms is all about managing behavior in the classroom. And one of the th ways that you can help manage behavior in the classroom is minimizing stressful situations for your students. One of the things you can do to minimize this around assessment period is the four tips that I've suggested to you. Give them lots of warning for the assessment, help them to map out a plan so that they're working incrementally, uh, regularly check in with them to check their progress and see if they need support. And the last one is balance, help them to balance their workload, help them to map out how they uh, work more efficiently so they're not overloading themselves and getting stressed out. So I hope that was really helpful. Just a few tips that I think will uh, help to minimize misbehavior around assessment time. If you think ahead, don't leave it to the last minute because that just causes more stress for them and more stress for you in the long run. I hope that was really helpful. If it was, make sure you share it with someone that you think will benefit from this channel. And think about giving us a review if you're listening on our podcast or if you're on our uh, YouTube channel. You know, just give us a review in iTunes or Stitcher and or give us a comment on the YouTube channel just to help the algorithm recognize that uh, we're producing helpful content and get it out to more people. Until next time, I'm Tarun Stevenson. Have a great week.